Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm here to do a little ink profile today. And what I have here is a, a Vinta ink, Sodalite 1891 Kislap. And it is a shimmer ink. And what's special about it, it is uh, releasing tomorrow, which is gonna be August 28, uh, 2021 at 10 a.m. <laughs> at Venice. And it is exclusive to them. So um, I'm coming on here to do this review so that you will know whether you want to buy a sample because they're only going to have I think limited samples so and this is a 30 mil bottle um, so we'll get right into my ink journals I've got uh, Tamoy River paper going on and some CVS caliber and then I've got um, a longer writing sample in, a, in another journal I've got some on Rhodia just you know I'll show you everything that I've done and then also uh, total now I've got four pens inked up and I just inked up um, a food a nib, which I think would be another great one. What I found so far was that the Noodler's Ahab with a uh, fountain pen Revolution Ultra Flex is the is the real deal. It really likes that because it it can display the shimmer so well. But we'll try the food a. Um, I'll try that with you, and then I'll show you uh, the rest of the results. So, so um, it is. Uh, I was told that it's named after. Uh, mineral i i usually call soda light a crystal but i <laughs> i was having trouble finding enough of the research and i thought if i keep this up i'm not going to release the video in time for you guys to know um so it's a, a mineral found in arkansas now the uh the actual crystals i have that are soda light are darker but mine are polished both of them and i do know that when you get the soda light in a uh, natural form it tends to be a lighter blue in fact i looked up some images online and definitely it it comes out light and it actually comes out looking a lot like this so it's it's gorgeous it's got a lot of shimmer and it's got some um, complexity so let's get right into my ink journal okay so this is the lockby uh 68 gsm tamori river paper uh, a a5 journal yeah it's a5 sometimes I'll get ready to say something and I'm like is that right um, now here I I had it in the uh, the Heinz custom blue storm with a broad nib unit that is an opus opus 88 nib unit so um, there it is on the feed there you can see that shimmery and I uh, worked with it in that and I was, you know, happy with it, but I still wanted to see it in the Noodler's Ahab. So here I put it in the Ahab, and what I found was it, it just releases so much more ink out of the Flex Nib that it really ended up being pretty. I'm going to have to hold it up to show you what I mean. Um, it just really got shimmery. Now, it was shimmery up here too, no doubt about it, but I noticed that it it's really nice when you have that extra... Um, See how much shimmery it looks? Well, actually, when I touch it, I think I'm, I'm going to have shimmery fingers, too. And that's great. That's re it's really pretty. So um, I, w I was really happy with it in here, but we'll look at that longer writing sample in a minute. And then I put this was in the C5 Speedball just to get a kind of a look at that complexity that it lays down. And uh, this is Tamari River 52 GSM where I splattered it. It's just delicious. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's got a lot of complexity. Here's the chromatography. Kind of went from pink to almost a yellowy light green to a teal. Just a real, uh, not teal, uh, turquoise. It's really pretty. And then here I noticed it did, you know, it doesn't have any uh, water resistance, but I didn't really expect that um, because I'd already made the the tile that's the first thing i do um, it's really hard to show super accurate um, you know color on these kind of complex inks so you'll want to try to grab a sample and that's why i'm doing this today so that that might be possible for you um, here's the cvs caliber paper it, it was really happy on here but that's because this was the noodles ahab with the fountain pen revolution uh ultra flex extra fine it lays down a lot of ink and it was just really nice i took it out of the other book because i wanted to kind of keep it here with this and i just sort of taped it in but you could see there's barely any seepage even on the back of that paper that cvs caliber is still my favorite 
uh, everyday paper to do, um, whoops, I'm getting a lot of glare. We had rain and it was really awful earlier. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. And then underneath here, I did end up uh, inking the Lamy Vista as well, but I felt like it was it felt dry in here, even though it was laying down a lot of ink. I didn't like the writing experience as much in the Lamy as I did in the Ahab and the, um, uh, well, that Yowo nib that's in, in that, uh, I guess it's labeled Opus 88, but it's, it's a regular Yowo nib. So this was better and this was better. But I'm really eager to try this one out because this has that Fude nib and that'll be fun too. So I'm going to put that aside. So I've um, got another couple of notebooks to show you. I'll be right back. Okay, this is Rhodia, um, and I think it's 80 GSM, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I'm, yeah, that's an 80 GSM, and it's, it's the, the grid, I guess. So here it is in the um, <clears throat> Ultraflex up here. I started right out with that, and it just really, really, really rocks it. You know, it lays down a lot of ink, but it also has that shading look, depending on how you, you do with the pen. And then in the custom blue storm, gee, I don't know. I didn't like it on this paper. No, I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that nib. I'm saying I, the the ink is gorgeous. I mean, it really is. You you get a nice shimmer. But um, the Lamy Vista was better on the Rhodia uh, than. Wow, I am just really shimmery. <clears throat> and then I just uh, sprayed it. So, but I still, I liked it better in the one that would lay down a lot of ink. And it just kind of, the light picks up on it and then it starts to play tricks on you. <laughs> the way it looks. And that, that was gorgeous. That's just really shimmery. You know, I can see this on a Christmas card. It's kind of almost like a modern color that you would use for a Christmas card. I don't know why. Um, no, no real bleed through except that right there it was really a... Uh, really sprayed on heartily so it might have seeped a little but I was excited to show you also the uh, uh, longer writing samples because that's where we get to see more I think okay I'm thinking that you may be able to see better um, what I'm talking about in terms of how the the broad nib on the Heinz <coughs> pen how that looks because even just from this distance versus how the Ultraflex looks, it really is darker and gives you more of a uh, uh, look at the ink, I think. You get shimmer with both, but you get a lot more shimmer coming out of here because it just lays down that much more ink. So, but I think even if you just wa weren't even looking at that, just, just looking at it, you can see that you get more readback with uh with this one and most people would be perfectly happy with this too but i'm just one of those that has to wear reading glasses and i need plenty of good lighting and my eyes aren't that good so but i've got lots of friends who uh, this would be great for even in this one so what i think i want to do next i want to try uh, this is the cafe note did i say that already <laughs> this is a uh 52 gsm tomoy river paper and it's way at the end but so we're just going to go ahead and get that food a nib in the hong dion this is uh hong dion i think it has a number but 1851 <laughs> anyway i'll put the where i i think i reviewed this pen if i didn't i should have so let's r just write with it <clears throat> I think we're gonna we're gonna do that and so just a few minutes before I came to do the video I decided to ink this up because I thought ooh, that's another pen that might really be nice for this ink so we've got I know there's more to the name of the ink <laughs> but I, I mean pen but I can't think of it with a food a nib Oh, yeah. See, whenever you've got shimmer ink, it's to your advantage, really, to be able to lay down a lot of it because then it's going to end up, uh, once it dries, you're going to see a lot more shimmer. So, And that's, that's what I like. So this is Vinta Soda Light. Kiss Lab. Um, 
I'm wondering, it could be that this portion means, um, you know, just means shimmer. I was trying real quick, but I didn't quite get there. I know, I know this is the crystal or mineral or whatever you want to call it. And of course, Vinta Inks makes it. So I can't remember if I mentioned that it was going to be, uh, the 30 mil bottle is going to be $14.99. And let's see if you could see. I like these bottles because they're, I think I could put this out even. Of course, it comes with a box, but uh, I think I could even put it out because it's kind of a dark bottle. Just leave it out if I wanted to. Um, okay, let's just do a little bit more. <clears throat> See, this doesn't feel dry in this pen, and it doesn't feel really dry. It doesn't feel dry in this one either. But in the other two, I did feel that I could feel it was a shimmer ink, you know, which is, I mean, you probably should be able to feel that. But you know how I am. I, everything's got to be fire hose, buttery smooth. So to get to that, I had to use the Ultra Flex or the Food A, for me anyway. Um, a quick brown fox. <laughs> Jumps over. I'd be highly motivated to find the, my pen for this because it's pretty. Over the lazy dog. And yeah, the, it feels nice. Obviously, Noodler's Purple Mountain Majesties feels even smoother with this, but this does not hold me back or slow me down whatsoever. Um, let's see how it's doing in there because sometimes it can sit. No, it didn't. Sometimes it can be, you know, like sit down there and then you find out, oh, it wasn't turned right. But isn't that pretty? <laughs> Jostle it a little bit. <clears throat> I do really love this. And then this has a small feed, but, you know, it's, it's sufficient. And of course, the, the nib just lets a lot of ink through. I mean, you could color things in with this. It's just so neat. <laughs> Some of the top part may be dry by now. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of glistening, but I'm having a lighting problem. I've got too much light coming from the outside even. Let's see. And then I've got an overhead to, my, to the side just so that we can at least try to keep it even. That's why I say you're really going to need a sample of this, and you want to jump on it because she did say... Um, Lisa did say there would be limited samples available, so. Okay, I think w one thing I'm excited about is to show you kind of a comparison panel. Even though I don't have very many, this is so unique, but I'd like to lay out a comparison panel anyway, so we can kind of see, uh, see, you might see something else you recognize, and so I'll set that up for you. <laughs> so this is where you get to see, uh, here's the Vinta Soda Light right in the middle with the beautiful shimmer. You get to see that I really don't have anything that's just like it. But interestingly, another Vinta Inks, uh, one from a, an old ink flight, kind of reminded me in its complexity. And of course, it's, it's maybe a little bluer or a little different and it doesn't have shimmer. And then this is a Van Diemen's Ink. Uh, winter morning frost, which is a shimmer, and that's really pretty. But it almost veers toward purple rather than blue, and it, it's so there. I think what it did was it made me go looking for some of these complex inks, like the mascara. You know, obviously it doesn't match. It doesn't even look anywhere near the same. But it it made me think of the mermaid green. I remembered that ink without even. I mean, just by memory, not not going through my little catalog. And then Ke the Kyoto just kind of stuck out. It, it there's a, a base kind of color there somewhere that makes me think of it but no dice no or no cigar whatever they, and then troublemaker milky ocean of course is just really bright you know compare in comparison but that similar sort of uh complexity within it just made me it made it reminiscent and then here's the uh, vinta inks deep water blue which is just gorgeous you know um but totally not the same and then just for comparison the ferris wheel cotton candy which would have nowhere near the readability 
Um, well, and this one doesn't either. The, if I remember right, I thought this was gorgeous, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't like it in a nib because I need more saturation. And then diamine, this one, Eudenil. Um, no, it doesn't look like it, but it reminded me a little bit. So we're way out there, <laughs> really way out there. Hello, Coco. Uh oh, my little helper has come on the scene. So I just wanted to uh, to thank Venice for. Um, Alisa and Mike for sending the ink. That was so generous. It's such a surprise. I almost like gave away a surprise without realizing it. <laughs> I ended up emailing saying, oh, I, I can't find anything about this. It's so pretty. And then they said, oh, we're not quite ready to release it. So it was kind of interesting. And then I, I, it was just in the nick of time that I didn't include it in something else where I would have been spilling beans about something that wasn't even out there yet. So, but I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And I think you might too, if you like uh, complex shimmer inks that are uh, really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it, like I said, the two, you know, these two, I'm really, and let's take a peek back into the cafe note. See, you get a lot of ink with that Fude nib, and uh, if I can just hold it right, I don't, I don't want to blow it out with all this light, my goodness. It was so dark earlier, I guess all my adjustments were, so with the Ahab and with the Hong Dian, it just, really satisfies me so okay so that way you'll know that you can um, as soon as I can link to it I will but I think that'll be tomorrow so if you're seeing it on the 27th of August 2021 then it you might not have an, a link yet but as soon as they have it up I will but I just kind of wanted to give you that heads up I would want it because the Vinta inks are really really hot um, last for uh, this past month let's see my very favorite has been, uh, yeah, this uh, Vinta Maycopa was my favorite. So just it's just been so delicious. And so I'm, they've got my attention, this brand, this Vinta Ink brand. I don't have nearly the, the number of samples or whatever because I just need to catch up with what I have. So <laughs> this is not, not me asking for any because I really have too many to start with. But uh, I've only put a toe or a, you know, a couple toes into the Vinta inks. And that was mostly because of Ink Journal when I got their ink flight. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're finding ways to stay inky. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.